Hi, I'm Ed, and today I'm going to be going through the navigation system that I've installed on my Honda Pioneer and showing uh, why I put it here and uh, all the other kind of nitnoids and goodies uh, that I have all set up. So hopefully this is going to be helpful, and uh, let's get going. Okay, so I have my tablet mounted up here. This is a Samsung Galaxy Tab A8. You can usually find these things used for like around 100, 130 bucks off of uh, Amazon. They're usually in really great condition. And then just go ahead and get some sort of a ruggedized case. I'll put links in the descriptions below. Uh, and then I'm using a RAM mount. And so I'll go ahead and pop this guy off. And then I also have a, uh, a charger cord that sits up here. So it's a little USB-C with a uh, little uh, angle um, charge piece on this. And so I'll go ahead and set this guy down let me, so I can show you. This is using a little, uh, a little angle, sorry, a little uh, bolt set up here. So it, it just clamps right on to the whole uh, assembly right here. And then the rest of this is just a, it's a RAM mount set up. So um, the whole thing, it's a, it's a hose clamp that wraps around. So again, this is RAM mount. And it goes right on to the uh, to the roll bar, and then from here I, I'm using the uh, a, a short. Uh, this is a double piece right here, so it's a ram ball right here, and then there's another ram ball up on the top piece, and that's what the whole uh, the whole assembly just kind of snags onto. And then right above, I have a 15 watt USB C uh, charge cord coming down, and then I take the uh, the power wires. I just route it down the uh, the column down here, and then route it back over to my uh, my fuse box. Um, I do have it running on a, a switch, so that way I'll, I don't have to have that uh, turned on or off uh, all the time. Uh, so that way, when you have uh, we're going on a trail where we know it, where we don't need the navigation, I just ha I just leave it off. But uh, you don't necessarily have to have that, so you can always you can have it powered on all the time whenever it's on. Uh, on key it. Uh, moving forwards, uh, the reason why I ended up uh, putting it up, up, up above here instead of down below is because the dashboard is really at a premium. So uh, when you have your stereo system, you have your switches down below, there really isn't much uh, in regards to room uh, to place it unless you want to sacrifice this little cubby up here. So the only other thing I could really do is possibly, if, I mean, if I wanted to sacrifice this, I could try and put some sort of round mount up here and try and mount it so that way it sits up here. But the also one of the things I did not want to do is, I didn't want to have um, this whole thing sitting inside of a RAM case, or uh, in, inside the RAM mount, in this thing here. And I didn't want it doing this. I didn't want it bashing up against the, the plexiglass. So by having it up mounted up high like this, it's it's out of the, the way visually and it's not hitting the plexiglass. Um, you can do this up on the left side so it's easy, uh, easy access for the driver, but you can also go ahead and put it up here on the right hand side as well so it's accessible by the passenger. If you use uh, if you put this up there, I would suggest making sure that you use the um, make sure you use the short um, the short array mount piece on here, just because you want to keep it up and out of the way, I and mean, you don't want to bring it closer to your helmet. Uh, one of the other things that I did notice is if you end up leaning forward and if you're a little tall, then your visor could possibly end up bumping it. But if you have a roof, you really don't really need uh, a visor, so you could actually take your visor off. Or uh, so but the, high, the higher up you can, you can keep this, the uh, the better. Um, the other thing is, uh, again, if you have it over on the passenger side, uh, just as far uh, outboard as, as possible, then probably, probably the better. The only other thing would be if you if this was say mounted directly to maybe directly onto uh, say your glove box. Um, that's the only other real places um, because uh, when I was originally doing this, I had it in a cup holder uh, that was on. Um, it was yeah, it was a cup holder that was sitting way over here. The problem was. It was plastic, it was flimsy, and it was bouncing all over the place. And I was using a bungee cord mounted to the frame that, in order to be able to stabilize it. It eventually broke. No, I did not like that. So up here, up out of the way, and as well as the passengers, uh, they can also see what's going on on the map and, and everything else. So um, I do have a detailed uh, description, or sorry, a detailed uh a walkthrough video I'm going to be putting together that shows how to set up these things because if, uh, if anybody like me uh, ends up stumbling across this and wonder how the heck they set up a, uh, a tablet like this because maybe they're used to say the iPhone or our, or our iPads, um, I'll go ahead and go do a walkthrough uh, for this as well. So uh, go ahead and check out the link, link in the description below for that detailed walkthrough uh, video uh, coming uh, soon. 
The reason why I'm using this particular type of tablet is because it has a self-contained GPS on board. So when you're off grid, you have the ability to go ahead and still have nav full on navigation systems available. There are lots of different uh, applications uh, on, on the, that you can go ahead and download. So I've tried a bunch of different ones. I've tried all trails, Avenza, Backcountry Navigator. Um, the, one, the one that I really like though um, is uh, Gaia. And so um, uh, you, again, feel free to go ahead and try, try the uh, different ones out. I believe I'm spending, was it 60 bucks a year uh, for the subscription? Um, I like this because it, it allows you to go ahead and pull in your open street maps and also synchronizes with your other devices. So you can go ahead and pull in um, your uh, GPX, uh, Google, uh, like uh, say trails uh, maps and stuff like that. Um, so you can go ahead and navigate across those. It makes it really easy to be able to, to, uh, to integrate uh, some, some of those other trails that people have already been on and then navigate across the, the, those different vectors and so um, say I can go ahead and just plot a, 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 a point that I want to go to and it'll just route all the way across that and it basically just gives you like, like almost like your turn by turn not quite like that as if as if a road conditions but uh, it's, it's very similar it, it, it will plot that uh, across so um, and then the obviously the, uh, the, the the 2d and 3d and the rotates everything like that um, just make sure whatever um, solution you come you come to you have a bigger memory chip on your uh, on your tablet and it can store everything onto your external memory that way you're not going to get stuck in the field where um, you have big blocky uh, maps and it's it's not enough detail and you're kind of stuck in a position where you don't have enough information Okay, so hopefully this was helpful. If it was, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Don't forget to check out all of the comments and uh, links uh, down below as well because uh, that's where you're going to have all the links for anything that you need to be able to purchase uh, anything that was uh, that was talked about during uh, this particular uh, video. Um, as, as always, happy riding.